What is going on everybody? My name is Torvet and before we get started with the topic of today's video, let's take a look at this gameplay. Oh my god. It is my boy I Monster going absolutely ham. He goes 62 and 19 with only rabbit punches. Now, I believe this is the world's most rabbit punch kills in a single game in Advanced Warfare in just the fact that he was able to get this is absolutely amazing. So make sure you go give him some love. His channel link will be in the description below along with mine. Ignore mine, click on his, go subscribe to him. He deserves it because he is absolutely amazing. So if you haven't already, be sure to go check out his channel below either now or at the end of the video. So now that that's complete, uh, let's take a look at the topic of today's video. Words. We use them all day, every day, and they have so much meaning to us. So I decided let's talk about a few of our favorite and least favorite words. I mean, we all have them, and I think words are very significant in our life. I mean, we couldn't live the way we do without them. So let's take a look at some of people's favorite and least favorite words. So going on to the list that I have in front of me of the favorite words, we got four of them laid out right now. First one being defenestration, which I honestly love this word. I learned it maybe a year and a half ago, and it means to throw somebody out a window. Oh my god, that is just, I mean, it's just the perfect word. The fact that they have a single word to describe the action of throwing somebody out a window, I think is just incredible. I mean, who thought of that? It is... I'm speechless. I have no words for it. Get it? Because we're talking about words. I mean, I love that word. And move on to the next one. Kerfluffle. This one sounds like something that you'd use to describe a cat or how you, like, pet a cat. I mean, it's... But it's not. It means to make a fuss. So, I think you're, it's like kerfluffle is kind of the same as quarrel. Um, so, you're basically making a fuss, but it just sounds so cute. This word is just, ugh. I just want to give this word a hug if that's even possible. I'm just going to write it out on a poster right now and just hug it or something. Oh my god. So the next one is um, persnickety. Uh, I don't even, it sounds like something that they put on the wrapper of a Snickers bar. Persnickety. Persnickety. Uh, I mean, that's really all I have to say about that one. I mean, it's a cool word. It just sounds funny. I kind of like it. I mean, these are the favorite words, so I guess that's why I kind of like it. Next, the last, last one of the favorite ones I have right here is discombobulated. Discombobulated. You um, spin somebody around and they become discombobulated. Uh, discombobulated. I just want to say this word over and over again. Discombobulated. 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 Oh my god, I should stop saying that word, but it is so much fun to say. Oh my god, these these words are awesome! Awesome is the only way to describe them, because they're so awesome. It is, ah. Oh. Just look up favorite people words or whatever on Google, and just read them off. Oh, it is just so much fun. I honestly had so much fun looking up these words. However, uh, along with these favorite words comes the least favorite words. Now, maybe it would have been best if I didn't discuss these because they are, they just erg me. And they might erg you too. I mean, they just annoy you in a way that you almost can't describe. So I got a list here and I'm going to read them off and let's see what you think of them because I'm probably going to have some trouble reading the list. So first of all, we got moist. Ugh, it's disgusting. Just just the thought of the word and what it correlates to is just annoying. I don't know. I don't know why it bothers me. It's I don't know. Next one is gurgle. Um, this one doesn't bother me as much, but it's still it just you know what gurgling is, so maybe that's why people don't like it. Uh, and move on is a curd. C U R D. This one's a weird one. I actually don't even know what this one means, uh, but curd. Maybe it sounds like, because it sounds like turd, that's why people don't like it. Mm, I don't really know about that one. Squirt. This one's a weird one. I don't know. Squirt. Squirt is interesting. I mean, uh, yeah, that's really all, all I can say about squirt. 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 Squirtle. 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 That's, that's a Pokemon. It's a Pokemon, people. Don't, I, I know it's a Pokemon. It's okay. Uh, chunky. 
Ooh, moist chunks. Oh, I heard that the other day, moist chunks. Oh, combine two of the least favorite words to make one combination that everybody hates. Oh, that's beautiful. And secrete. Secreting moist chunks through squirting. Oh, yes. It's perfect. Just say that and you win an argument every time. Secreting moist chunks while squirting or something like that. Just combine them and you'll, the other person will be like, I'm done. I'm done. I give up. You win. You win. And so that's them, except we have one more. It is my all-time least favorite word. Uh, I don't even know if I want to say it. I'm going to say it. I should really shouldn't. I'm going to say it, okay? Phlegm. F? It's not F. It sounds like F, but it's not, because it's P-H-E-L-G-M. I spelled that wrong. Fuck me in the asshole with a banana. It's P-H-L-E-G-M. And phlegm... Mm, mm. Mm, it just it just hurts me. It, it just hurts me to think about it. It's like the stuff in your throat. It's like, ugh, 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 ugh. It just annoys me. It annoys the crap out of me. Ugh. It, there's just, I don't understand why you can't put how these words annoy you into words to describe how much it annoys you. That is what annoys me even more. Ugh, just these, these least favorite words, they just get on your nerves like nobody's business. I mean, we're going to stop talking about it now. So that is it. That is my whole list of least favorite and favorite words uh, that people did. I just looked it up on Google if you want to do this too to look up even more words. But what I want you to do now is I want you to comment your personal favorite and least favorite words. I want to hear from you. Uh, I'll get back to you on whether I think that those words are annoying too. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this topic you probably didn't enjoy the least favorite words as much as the favorite words, but if you did, be sure to leave a like below, and like I said before, comment your least favorite and favorite words, and I'll let the rest of this video play out, maybe with some music or something, and until next time, I hope you have a great day, a great week, a great month, a great year, and until next time, I will see y'all later.